Hello, it's Georgia trial attorney Jack Clay. Today I want to give you some tips when sending out settlement offers. This video is mainly meant for attorneys out there who are contemplating settling a case and they'd like some advice, but it's also meant for people out there who are injured who have questions about the settlement process. Again, this is Jack Clay and thank you for joining me today. First, have clear authority and understanding from your client. This is critical, especially in serious cases. When we have cases we're looking to settle, we actually meet with the client and we draw a roadmap out as to where we want to go and what we want to do during the settlement process. You want to make sure that you and your client are on the same page about where you're starting the negotiations and where you'd like to end up. Second, know and respect the good, the bad, and the ugly aspects about your case. Many lawyers fail to recognize the weaknesses in their own case because they either get emotionally invested in their case and their clients or they fail to really look at things objectively because they feel like they can go in there and win the case either through time, talent, or just raw emotion, but that's not the case. For example, you need to understand the venue in your case, which is where it's pending, your client's medical bills in this case, and your client's pre-existing medical bills if it's a personal injury case or a worker's compensation case. Third, be reasonable and firm just in case a bad faith situation arises at a later date. Insurance companies often want extensions and more time to answer your demand letters and they want more information and that can be reasonable. However, sometimes the other side, whether it's an insurance company or another attorney, can utilize stalling tactics to try to stall the case out or to cloud the issues. You want to be firm from the beginning by setting a precedent that you're firm but fair. Fourth, during the settlement negotiation process, keep working the case. I tell everybody in my office that when we start settling a case or entering the settlement negotiation process, we want to work extra hard on what I call the substantive issues and matters in the case. We want to keep pushing the other side and not show weakness just because we're trying to settle the case. I cannot tell you how many phone calls I get from other attorneys, insurance adjusters, and other folks that are all excited to settle the case until it comes down to talk about the terms which usually involve money. Everybody wants a case wrapped up, but not everybody wants to pay what the case is worth. So my cardinal rule for you out there is to keep working the case during settlement negotiations so the other side knows you're serious. If you're an attorney out there and you have questions, about settlement offers, please feel free to contact me anytime via email or telephone. Many of our referrals in this office come from other attorneys and we engage in fee splitting agreements in accordance with the ethical rules in all cases. We're happy to help you and we've located across the street from the Douglas County Courthouse where we've practiced law for many years and handled hundreds of serious cases. Thank you for joining me.